What's up, Jackie? Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Erica. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, cool. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give it another minute and wait for everyone to join. We've got about uh, 15 people signed up, so we'll just give it another minute or so, and then we'll get started. I'm going to wait until uh, mostly everyone's here, and then I'll start breaking down the workout. You don't need any equipment. It's going to be 30-second intervals, um, similar to what we did on Thursday, except you're not repeating any of the exercises. So, what's up, Abby? Hi, Jamie. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and um, get ready to start. We're going to go through a warm up. It's two and a half minutes. Everything's 30 seconds, and I'm going to cue you when to switch exercises. So we're going to start on the mat. And we're starting with shoulder shrugs. So you're on your hands and your knees. And then uh, you're just going to lower and lift the body down, moving from the shoulder blades. So we're not moving the elbows at all. You're just moving the scapula. So you want your shoulders right over the wrists and your hips right over the knees. We're going to start in three two and one so we're just lowering the spine and then pushing back up we inhale down and we exhale push away from the floor so the elbows are staying straight it's the shoulder blades that are moving we're keeping the navel lifted up away from the shirt so the abs are engaged protecting the low back we're here for 10 seconds and then we go to a bird dog so we're going to take the opposite arm and leg lengthen them and then round the spine and connect them in three two and one so right arm left leg they reach and then we exhale bend the elbow to knee and inhale lengthen opposite arm and leg so we're still pushing away from the mat really round your spine and feel the stretch on the back side body as you contract your front side body we're halfway there so warming up shoulder stability spinal mobility getting those abs engaged we're just going to switch sides in five seconds get ready to switch in Three, two, one, and switch the arm and leg. Exhale as you bend, and inhale, lengthen. So you wanna keep your shoulders pretty square, allow your spine to round, and reach the leg all the way back through the wall behind you. Feel your glute and hamstring muscles engage. The next exercise in 10 seconds, we'll go kneeling, and you can just face towards me. We're gonna kneel with our feet hip distance apart, Feet or knees hip distance, feet together in three, two, and one. So we have a kneeling side bend. We're gonna side bend to the right and then just switch side bend left. Alternating directions, my feet are together, my knees are separated, and I'm squeezing my glutes. You can feel the lower body working. And we have 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna go into a runner's lunge with rotation. It starts from a plank position. So in five seconds, we're gonna find a high plank. In three, two, and one, high plank. I'm gonna set my right leg outside of my right arm, twist to the right, arm to the ceiling, set my hand back down, come to my plank. Left leg out, left arm opens, left arm down, back to plank. So I step out, twist, plank, and return. Now move at your tempo. You can go fast if you wanna get that heart rate up. You can go slow if you wanna focus more on the mobility. Seven seconds left, let's even this out, and then we are done with our warm up. Okay, so even that out, and then go ahead and come down to the knees, sit back, take a quick child's pose. In between every block, we have a one minute bicycle crunch. We'll do that four times, and then we're gonna switch to a different exercise. So right now we're gonna do one minute of a bicycle crunch, then we go to the next block. On your back, hands behind the head, legs in tabletop in three, two, and one. So we twist left, right leg lengthens, come center, and switch. We're going to pause in the center, and then switch. Inhale and tabletop, exhale, rotate. Inhale and tabletop, exhale, rotate. So we're going for one full minute. You're going slow. There's no rush here. Keep the hands behind the head so you're supporting the weight of the neck, and your chin slightly tucked into the chest. One leg is at 90, one leg is super straight. We're halfway, we have 30 seconds to go. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. So after this minute, we have a 30 second rest. There's not a whole lot of rest built into this routine, so enjoy it while you can. We're here for just 10 seconds, and we get a 30 second rest. Okay, in five. In four, in three, two, one, and rest. So 
So 30 seconds, and then we're going into a plank matrix. It is four minutes of planks. We're going to switch every 30 seconds. The first one, you're, you can be on your hands or elbows, and we're just going to rock forward and back from the ankles. So you can do that on your hands, or you can do it on your elbows. We have 10 seconds till we get there. Then we're going to switch into a side plank hip dip after that. Cool. And then I'll cue you where we're going from there. We start in five, in four, in three, two, one. So I'm going to point my toes, shift forward, flex my heels, they go back. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, push back. So I'm moving from my ankles. My hips and knees stay still, and my whole shape goes forward, and my whole shape goes back. The pelvis and ribs are tucked together. You're in that posterior tuck. This is going to protect your low back. We go side plank hip dips. You can start on either side in five, in four, in three, two, one. Twist to one side and we lower the hips and lift. You can stack the feet, you can stagger the feet, or you could come down to the knee. So you have a lot of options here. Find what works for you and keep the eyes straight ahead. The neck is really long. A lot of space between the bottom ear and shoulder. We're here for 10 more seconds. We're gonna go back to a center plank. We're doing twisted mountain climbers. So we're gonna go high plank for this one in five, in four, in three, two, and one. So high plank, right knee goes to left elbow, pause. Back to plank, left knee, right elbow, pause. Back to plank and keep going. Your shoulders stay square, but your hips twist a lot. We're gonna go side plank hip dips on the other side next. We have 15 seconds here, halfway done. Try to get the knee to actually touch that elbow and keep the uh, thigh really close to your body. So side plank hip dips, other side. In four, three, two, and one. Other side. We dip the hips down, exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Now the top hand can be on the hip, behind the back, behind the head, or straight to the ceiling. 15 seconds to go. We're going to go center plank shoulder taps. Uh, you can do this on your hands, high plank position. If you need to go on the elbows, you're going to reach one arm forward rather than tapping the opposite shoulder. We switch in three, two, and one. My right hand taps my left shoulder, back to plank. Left hand, right shoulder, back to plank. Keep switching, keeping the hips square. And avoid sinking into the mat. You want to push away from it with that stabilizing arm. My feet are hip distance. Narrow will be meaner. Wide will be nicer. Keep the belly button lifted, pelvis and ribs still tucked. We have side plank, thread the needle. First side again in four, three, two, back to side plank. Top arm goes up, we tuck and twist and open. Exhale, twist, inhale, open. So again, you can stagger, you can stack the feet, or you can come down onto the bottom knee with your top leg straight. 15 seconds to go. We're going to go back to center plank. This one is an extended angle plank. So your hands are in front of your shoulders or your elbows are in front of the shoulders. In four, in three, two, and one. So center plank, I'm just going to walk my feet back a lot. So my shoulders way behind my elbows. The further the angle, the wider the angle at the elbow joint, the more intense this is. We're just holding. We're going to finish with side plank, thread the needle on the other side. Keep your pelvis tucked, glutes are squeezed, in through the nose, out through the mouth. We have eight seconds. We thread the needle, needle other side in four, three, two, one. Last time here, thread your needle, tuck and twist, and open it back up. So this is the last 30 seconds of our four minute plank. We're definitely gonna take a rest after this. It'll be 30 seconds. Then we have another minute of bicycle crunches. 15 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Keep pushing away from your mat and let the eyes follow your spine. We rest in five seconds. 30 second rest in four, three, two, and rest. Very nice job, ladies. Take 30 seconds and then we're going to go back to bicycles. It is getting hot in here. I'm going to open up that door, grab some water, get ready for those bicycles. Oh, it's raining. That's nice. Okay, 10 seconds here. Bicycle crunches for a minute, and then we'll have another 30 second rest. We start in five. Tabletop in four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Twist left, 
Come to tabletop. Twist right. Come to tabletop. So you're pausing in the center. Inhale, pause, exhale to twist. Inhale, pause, exhale, twist. I like my legs separated when I come to tabletop. I just feel like it's less strenuous on my lower back. You can try that if you like it, or you can bring the knees and ankles together in the center if you prefer. You want to keep the scapula lifted off the mat. Keep going. We're halfway there. We have 30 seconds left. We're going to take a one, uh, 30 second rest after this, and then we're going to go into some glute work. 20 seconds to go. Can you lift a little higher? Can you twist a little deeper? Reach the legs long, and remember they don't have to go super low. You can go higher to make it nicer or lower for more intensity. 10 seconds, keep working. Five seconds, get ready to rest. In four, three, two, and rest. 30 second rest, next position, we are sideline again. We're going into clams. Your first set is just right here. Second set, we'll add on to it. Second set, you're gonna lift the hips and add rotation. The third set, you're gonna come up onto your hands and knees. And then the last set, you're going quadruped. So it's like six exercises on the same leg. We'll do our bicycles and then we'll switch. So first one, you're on the forearm. If you need to lie all the way down, totally cool. We start in three, two, one. My knees are bent. My top leg rotates up and back down. Open it up and back down. So my feet stay together. I'm pushing into this bottom elbow to lift my ribcage off the mat. I can look forward. I can look down towards the elbow as long as my shoulders and hips stay square. So my spine is stable. Hips are stable. The only thing moving right now is this top leg. The next variation, we're going to lift the bottom hip as we lift the top knee. And we're going to separate the feet as we do that in three, two, one. So the feet open. We twist up, twist down. Knees and feet open, twist up. Knees and feet together, twist down. We exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Very good, ladies. Lift the bottom hip up off the mat. So it lifts and then it taps back down. Good. Lift and tap down. Good. Nice, you guys. Okay, we're here for seven seconds. We're going side kneeling. Point and flex in three, two, up onto the knee, same side. Lift the leg. Point the toes, send it forward, flex your foot, it goes back. Point forward, flex back. If you need to stay down on the forearm, you can totally stay down in side line. It will definitely be nicer. We have 15 seconds left here. Keep the abdominals drawn in. Ears in line with shoulders. My leg is moving, nothing else. Pushing away from the mat. The next one, we're gonna bend the top arm and leg. In three, two, reach the arm long. We bend the elbow to knee, tap them together, and then lengthen and twist. Bend and tap, lengthen and twist. So I'm twisting towards my knee, and then twisting towards my stabilizing hand. Twist and reach. 15 seconds, and we're gonna go quadruped, so hands and knees for a fire hydrant. 10 seconds to go. We have two more variations on this leg. Fire hydrants next in four, three, two, hands and knees. I'm gonna rotate my leg out at 90 degrees and rotate back in. Exhale out, inhale in. My shoulders are square, hips are square. My right leg is the only leg moving. Everything else is still. My body may try to lean off to the supporting side. Try not to let it. You have 15 seconds and we're gonna go into a curtsy tap your leg will be straight, and you're gonna cross it from the left to the right. So if my right leg is doing hydrants, my right leg is gonna start right now, tapping to the left, lift up to the right. Tap down to the left, lift up to the right. So I'm going to cross the midline and out to a diagonal. It's a diagonal line, but my hips don't move. My spine doesn't move, it's just the leg. So it's not gonna be very high. The back should not arch, and the leg should not bend. 10 more seconds. Tap down, exhale, lift. Five seconds, we're gonna rest in four, three, two, and one. Take a rest, child's pose. Rock your hips to the right, rock your hips to the left. Take a couple seconds here. We have 20 seconds and we're going into our bicycle crunches. Third minute of these, 15 seconds and we'll go into those. And then we get to do side booty on the other side. 10 seconds, get ready, on your back. Legs up in tabletop. Hands behind the head, we start in four, three, two, and one. Twist right, come center, 
twist left, come center. One leg is bent, one leg reaches all the way across the room, pointing my toes through the wall. Elbows stay wide, so the rotation is from your ribs to hips, rather than your elbow to your knee. Keep going here, we're about halfway. Long sets here. This is the second to last one with bicycles. We have 30 seconds to go. Keep working. Nice and slow. Stay lifted. Remember, you can bring the leg higher up. Doesn't have to be really low to make it a little nicer. One minute is a long time. Four sets is a lot of sets. Listen to your body. You have 15 seconds to go. We're gonna rest for 30, and then we'll do the other side all the way straight through with our legs. Keep going here. We have four, three, two, and rest. Okay, 30 seconds, and we're gonna go into our clams on the other side. So side lying position, you can go all the way down onto the arm. You can come up onto the forearm. First two are lying on the side. We have 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. And we rest, or we start in five. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So we rotate the top leg up, rotate it down. Exhale, rotate up. Inhale, rotate down. So the first one's kind of your warm up, not that intense, but this series is long. As we experience on the other side, you'll start to really feel it built. Keep the bottom side lifted, eyes gazing straight forward. I want to make sure my head's not upright. My head is leaned out to the side with the rest of my spine. Keep pushing down into the forearm, down into the wrist. We're going to add the hip lift and a twist in five, in four, in three, two, one. Here we go. Twist up and rotate down. Lift and twist. So my knees separate, my heels separate as well. And then my feet and knees come back together at the bottom. 20 seconds to go. Exhale, rotate up. Inhale, rotate down. So I have lateral flexion, I have spinal rotation, and I have hip abduction. A lot of work going on here. You can feel my oblique, my leg. Okay. Get ready. Come to the knees. We point and flex. In three, two, one. Up onto your hand and knee. Top leg up. Point the toes forward. Flex the foot back. Point forward. Flex back. Keep the abs nice and tight. Pushing away from the floor. Top hand can be behind the head, behind the back, on the hip, to the ceiling. Do whatever feels good. Point forward. Flex back. Keeping the hips square. Shoulders stacked. Next one, we're going to bend the arm and leg, and we add that little twist in four, three, two, lengthen the top arm, turn the leg out. We bend and lengthen. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. It's okay to let the ribs sink down a little bit as you bend the elbow to knee, but lift them back up as you lengthen the arm and leg. We're going to go quadruped for our hydrants in 15 seconds. Hands and knees with the left leg rotating out to 90 degrees. Eight seconds left. Hands and knees in four, three, two, one. My left leg rotates out and back in. So my shin bone is parallel to the wall on my left. That means my ankle goes out as wide as my knee. So you've got to get your heel away from your butt. Keep the leg at 90. We're going to finish with the curtsy tap in 15 seconds. The leg will be straight, crossing the midline, and then going out to the side. We have five, four, three, two, one. Straight leg. It goes up to the left, down to the right. Up to the left, down to the right. Now you'll notice my leg is not lifting that high. If I go any higher, my back is going to arch. My ribs will flare open. I want to keep this area really stable. So the only thing moving is my leg. Without the hips moving, it really helps to target the glute and hamstring muscles so that we're not allowing those hips to rock side to side and take over. We rest in four, three, two, one. Come back into your child's pose. Lean to the right, lean to the left. 20 seconds, we're gonna go into bicycles. Enjoy that stretch while you can. Grab some water, bicycle crunches one more time. Ten seconds. We'll start that bicycle crunch in five, in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last time, twist left, 
Come center, twist right, come center. On this fourth round, see if you can lift yourself up a little higher. You've been here for three minutes, over three minutes, so you should be able to twist a lot deeper and lift a little higher than the first time that you were here. Keep your legs parallel so the bones on the top of your feet are pointing up rather than out to the side. Keep going, almost halfway. Okay, this is 30 seconds, we have 30 to go. Halfway there. Elbows wide, slight tuck of your chin to the chest. Keep working. This is the last time we have to do these bicycles. 15 seconds to go. We're going to take a 30 second rest before we switch to our triceps. 10 seconds here. Lift higher. We have four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my gosh. Okay, no more bicycles. The next block is four tricep exercises. The first one is a tricep push-up. I'm going to do these on my knees. My hips are low. I'm going to bend down, push up. That's my first one. Second one is a tricep dip. Hips are high. I bend my elbows a little bit, push back up. Third one is a side lying tricep press. I'm using only the top arm. We do right, left, and then we're done. We're going to start with the tricep push-up in three, two, one. So my elbows are narrow, really close to my ribs. I lower all the way to the mat and push up. My hips and shoulders lower together. My hips and shoulders lift together. Elbows very narrow. Now you are absolutely welcome to do these on your toes and go into a full plank position. I have a jacked up wrist right now, so I'm gonna stay on the knees, but you are welcome to pick it up onto the toes and go for a full tricep push up. We have four, three, two, Flip around, reverse tabletop, tricep dip. So the hips are high. We bend the elbows a little bit, push up. Little bend, big push. Keep the hips lifted as high as you can lift them without arching your back. So your glutes are engaged. It's a very small bend. Elbows narrow. Eyes are gazing straight forward, about 45 degree angle. We're gonna go side line, single arm press in five, in four, Get ready. In three, two, one. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. I use my top arm to push. My bottom arm is not even touching the mat. If you need it to, tap it down. Push up, tap it down. I'm trying to use my top arm as much as I can and my bottom arm very little. 15 seconds to go. These ones are really tough. It's a lot of body weight to lift with just your triceps. Keep going here. Try not to use that bottom arm as much as you can. We switch sides in four, in three, in two, and one. Quick transition, left side. So again, my top leg straight, bottom leg is bent. I'm trying not to use this arm. Try a couple reps without really using it at all. And then place it down, gauge how much support you need from that bottom arm. This should be tough. This should be really tough on that top arm. 10 seconds left, lifting my whole upper body with that tricep. Five seconds, we rest in four, three, two, and rest. Okay, 30 seconds here. We're gonna ditch the bicycle crunch. We're gonna go into a prone position. This is what the arms look like. You're lying on your uh, belly. You're gonna start with your palms up. We're gonna circle the arms, flip the palms up. Circle the arms, flip the palms up. So that's what the arms do. Your body is here, legs lifted. We start in 10 seconds. We're doing this one four times. So if you need to keep the legs down, you can totally do that. Start with your arms forward, palms up in three, two, one. Circle the arms, flip your palms up. Circle the arms forward, flip your palms up. So at the front and at the back, the palms are facing the ceiling. So thumbs together as you go back, pinkies together as you go forward. Thumbs together, reach all the way back to the toes. Pinkies together, reach all the way forward. Now my chest is just slightly lifted. It's like maybe three, four inches off the ground. My arms are lifted really high, as high as we can go. 30 more seconds, keep going. Exhale, circle back. Inhale, circle forward. Now you can keep the legs lifted or you can keep the inner arches of your feet resting down on the mat. That will be more supportive. Legs up is more intense. 15 seconds and we rest. 10 seconds, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel your shoulders, feel your back. Feel the whole back side body. Five seconds, four, three, two, and rest. 30 seconds here, 
You could take a couple rounds of cat stretch around the spine a few times. We are coming up to standing. We have curtsy lunges for uh, 30 seconds. So in about 15 seconds, you're gonna step the right leg back and then come out to hip distance. Right leg steps back, back to hip distance. We start in eight seconds. Hands are on the hips, feet are a little wider than hips. I'm gonna stand back so you can see my whole body. We have three, two, one. Step the leg back, bend both knees, back out. My back knee actually touches the ground. If you can get it to touch, do that. You're crossing that leg behind the knee. My body leans forward as I go back into that lunge. That's gonna load up my glute and make it more butt work than fly work. You'll probably feel them both working. 10 seconds, we're gonna take the leg that's stepping back into a leg lift in four, three, Two, stay standing, this leg. We're gonna flex the foot and we lift and lower. Ooh, 30 seconds here, you can hold on to something if you need to. So my toes are turned in, my heel is turned out, and it's a small lift so that my hips actually are square. They're not moving. The space between ribs and hips is even. My core is tight, I'm lifting out of my standing hip. 10 seconds and we're going curtsy, two leg lift. So we're gonna combine those two movements in five. Curtsy first in four, in three, Two, one, step the leg back, come up, lift the leg up. So it steps back and goes straight into the leg lift. Step it back, straight out to your leg lift. The leg lift is small, so the hips are square. It is not a side bend. My waistline stays long, only my legs move. 10 seconds, we'll take a 30 second rest, and we're going back into our arm circles prone. Five seconds to go, we rest in four, three, Two, one, take a rest. We're going back down, face down for those arm circles. 20 seconds till we start. Grab some water, take a second. I think this is a thousand times harder to do it while you're talking. I'm dying right now, you guys. We have 10 more seconds to go. We're gonna start with those arm circles. Okay, so palms facing up. We start in five, four, three, Two, here we go, palms up, squeeze your butt, circle the arms back, thumbs together, circle the arms forward, pinkies together. Now your thumbs probably won't actually touch and that's okay. I really want you to keep the arms straight so we're not allowing the elbows to bend. Remember, feet can be lifted or you can tap the inside arches of the feet down onto the floor, keeping the knees lifted and your sit bones squeezed. Your pubic bone is pushing down into the mat, Keep going, we're about halfway. Your eyes are looking straight down, so there's no wrinkling in the back of your neck. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your shoulder blades, over halfway. Feel the scapula come together as you rotate back. Feel the shoulder blades separate as you rotate forward. Try to rotate your thumbs all the way to the ceiling as you go back, and your pinkies all the way to the ceiling as you go forward. We have 10 seconds. We'll come up to standing for our curtsy leg lifts on the other side. We rest in four, three, two, one. Come up, take a few rounds of cap stretch. Just move your spine in the opposite direction. When you round your spine, feel your abs working to lift the navel up. Make it an abdominal exercise to stretch the back. We have 15 seconds. We're up on our feet for curtsy lunges. So we'll do that curtsy, leg lift, and then combine the two. Five seconds, hands on the hips. My left leg is gonna step back in three, two, one. Inhale, step back, exhale, hip distance. So when I come to standing, I have equal weight in both legs. When I go into the lunge, most of my weight is in this standing leg, in my right leg. Hips stay square, the spine is gonna hinge forward. Doing that little lean, little diagonal as you lower, vertical as you stand. Hinging at the hip, 10 seconds. We're gonna go straight into the leg lift. In three, two, one. Lift that left leg up and lower. Now it doesn't ever touch the ground, it stays lifted. You're just pulsing it up. Pulse it up. Standing leg is bent a little bit. Abs are tight, hips are square. Try to avoid leaning to your standing side. Stay really vertical. Heel out, toes in. Keep going here, we have 10 seconds to go. We're gonna go curtsy to um, leg lift in five, four, three, 
two, one. Here we go. Step back to curtsy. Come up straight to your leg lift. Curtsy, leg lift. Every time you lift the leg, turn your big toe in, heel out. The legs like to externally rotate, so if you think of internally rotating it, it's going to help you to stay more parallel. Remember, it's not a huge kick. It's a controlled small lift from the side of your butt. The glute medius does the work to lift the leg. Five seconds to go. We rest in four, three, two, one, 30 seconds. Make your way back down to the mat. We're going back to those shoulder circles. We are going for one more, uh, two more sets of those. This is our third one. And then we're gonna come back up to standing. We have some more standing leg work. So 15 seconds here. Get ready to go back to your arm circles. If your low back is ever feeling fatigued with those, keep the legs down. We start in eight seconds on your belly. In five, in four, three, two, one. Palms up, we rotate back, palms up. Rotate forward, palms up. Keep your butt squeezed. Sit bones are trying to touch each other. Active glutes are gonna help to protect your low back. Now bring those biceps all the way up above your ears. The arms are really high. They're really straight. And we're breathing deeply. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale, circle back and squeeze your scapula. Feel all the muscles in between your shoulder blades working. We're halfway there. 30 seconds. Can you come up another inch? Keep the neck long. Reach the crown of your head forward. Check in with your glutes. Squeeze them more. Navel stays lifting up off your mat. Abs are tight. We have 15 seconds. And we're going to come back to our cat stretch just a few times before we come to standing. 10 seconds to go. Second to last set of these. We should feel a lot more mobile through the shoulders by now. We have three, two, one. Come up, hands and knees. Take a few rounds of cat. We have 30 seconds till we start the next one. It is a front lunge. So we're going to stand up. Start with the feet together. You go 15 seconds till we do this. Hands can be on the hips or down. You're just going to step one leg forward. I'm hinging, so I'm going to little lean forward and then come back to standing. So I have 30 seconds here. I have 30 seconds with a glute kick back. My leg is turned out. And then I'm going to combine the two for a lunge to a kick back. Get ready to start with that front lunge in four, three, two, one. Here we go. So we step one leg forward and then come back to standing. I'm going to go hands to prayer and then arms down. From the side, you can see I'm leaning forward and then coming to vertical. Hinging at the hip and coming back to vertical. 15 seconds here. We're going to take this right leg. My right leg is stepping forward and we're going to go into a kick back with that same right leg. In five seconds, I'm going to turn the leg out. In three, two, one. So my toe is turned out and I lift and lower. Lift, lower. It's really small. My back's not arching. My leg is not bending. My standing leg is bent a little bit. Tiny, tiny kickback. Squeeze your butt. Feel your glute and hamstring working to elevate the leg. Little lift and tap. Little lift and tap. I'm leaning forward just a little bit. I'm not fully upright. That will help me to keep my back from arching. We're going to combine the two in four, three, two, one. So we step forward parallel, kick back, turn the leg out. Step forward parallel, kick back, turn the leg out. Inhale, lunge, exhale, kick back. Good, you guys. Inhale, lunge, exhale, kick back. 15 seconds here. We're going to go into our last set of those shoulder circles. We have five seconds left. In four, three, two, one, and rest. Back onto the mat. We have one more set of those shoulder circles, and then we'll come up and do the other leg. 20 seconds and we start. Okay, 15 seconds here. Last time. We start in 10. Pelvis tuck down, glutes squeeze before you even start. We have four, three, two, chest up, arms up. Let's do it. Circle the arms back, squeeze your thumbs together. Circle the arms forward, pinkies together. So my palms face up. And my palms flip and face up. Reach the fingertips all the way back behind the toes. Now remember, this is your last set. So find that extra inch. Can you lift higher? Can you reach longer? Can you tighten up your glutes? Can you tighten up your core? 
Keep reaching the sternum forward past the edge of your mat as your fingertips circle back behind you. We have 30 seconds. This is halfway. Last 30. Working a whole backside body. This is an amazing exercise for posture, for shoulder mobility, for neck and back pain. This will help to unlock that upper back, mid back area and strengthen the muscles that are typically weaker from all the rounding that we've been doing. We have 10 seconds to go. We're gonna come back into cat stretch. In five, in four, in three, two, one. We are done with those cat stretch. Hands and knees, take a few rounds, tuck and round, lift the navel, round your back a lot. And then just come back to neutral. We just did a lot of extension, so we don't wanna arch more. Let's just round and come back to neutral. Do one more, tuck and round, and then come to neutral, stand up. We're gonna go front lunges on the left. We have kickbacks, and then we'll combine the two. I'm gonna face towards the side, so you can see me for this one. We start in four, three, two, and one. So left leg steps forward, I lean forward, come back to hip distance. Lean forward, back to hip distance. So I'm kind of launching myself back from that front leg. All my weights in the front leg, and then I drive through the foot to launch me back. Inhale down, exhale back. Inhale, step forward, exhale, push back. We have 10 seconds to go. We're gonna go straight into that little kickback. In five, four, three, two, one. Turn the leg out. You lift up, tap down. Little lift, tap down. Keep the abs in. I'm leaning forward slightly, but my leg is only lifting as much as my back stays still, so I'm not arching or moving my upper body at all. Very small, concentrated squeeze from the glute muscles. You should feel it in the hamstring, side of the butt, standing leg working a lot here. We have seven seconds. We're gonna combine the lunge to kick back. In four, three, two, here we go. Parallel, step forward, turn the leg out, kick back. Parallel, step forward, turn the leg out, kick back. Inhale, lunge, exhale, leg lift. Inhale, lunge, Exhale, leg lift. Keep going, we have 15 seconds to go. Almost there. Eight seconds. We have a 30 second rest in four, three, two, and one. Let it rest. Okay, so next exercise, we are going um, into, we're gonna do this one twice. We have X rep squats, so your feet are hip distance apart. You're gonna come down into a squat. You're gonna come up halfway, come down, and then come all the way up and come down. So it's one pulse, one squat. This is gonna be our one minute exercise like we did with the bicycles and the arm circles, but we're only doing it twice. So let's start hip distance apart in three, two, and one. Squat down, lift up halfway, come back down, rise all the way and come down. So I'm gonna keep my hands in prayer for the half rep and then lower my arms down for the full rep. From the side, you can see that I'm hinging at the hip joint again. My back stays in this neutral curve as I lower. And then when I come up, I'm tucking the ribs and hips slightly together to really activate those glutes. I can feel my quads, my glutes, my core, even my arms by pressing my hands together. We're halfway there. We have 30 seconds. Up, down, all the way up, and back down. A little lift, and one full range. My hips go back and down, my chest stays up. 20 seconds. We're gonna come down to the mat, a little bit more abdominal work after this. 10 seconds to go. We're gonna hit the mat, lying down onto our backs. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Hit the mat, we're going through the series of five. It's five abdominal exercises. We're gonna go straight through 30 seconds of each, no rest. Take rest when you need to, because it's pretty intense. So 20 seconds and we're gonna start. The first one is single leg stretch. You're gonna send one leg forward. My left hand goes to the outside of the left knee. My right hand goes to the inside of the left ankle. I'm gonna pull the leg in twice, switch. Exhale, exhale, switch. We start in four, three, two, one. Tabletop, send the right leg forward, pull the left leg in twice, switch. Exhale, exhale, switch. So my bent leg, gets a little extra uh, pulse, a little bounce, my straight leg does it. My straight leg is gonna stay there. It doesn't bounce, just the bent one does. One hand goes to the outside of the knee, one hand goes to the inside of the ankle. 10 seconds, 
The next one is the exact same thing, except your legs are straight. And we're gonna reach behind the calf in three, two, one, straight leg. I pull, pull, switch. Pull the top leg only, the bottom one doesn't bounce. Slight tuck of the chin to the chest. It's really hard to not let the bottom leg move, so go slow. Top leg pulls in, pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. If you want more intensity, reach up towards your foot, reach towards the ankles. This should be tough. Challenge yourself. It's only 30 seconds. We're gonna add the twist in four, three, two, one. Twist to the top leg, switch. So there's no double pulls. You're just switching back and forth. It's just like the bicycle, but your legs are straight. A little more intense. Double leg stretches next. We all know that one. We're about halfway there. Remember, rest when you need to. Bend the knees if you need to. 13 seconds to go. Double leg stretch next. Get ready in five, in four, three, two, one. Tabletop, reach for the toes. Inhale, lengthen arms and legs. Exhale, circle, pull the knees in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, circle. Try to keep that chest up, shoulder blades up the whole time. So the upper body does not lower. Your arms move, but your spine stays lifted. 10 seconds to go. Double straight leg stretches last. Heels together, toes apart, straight legs. Hands behind the head in four, three, two. Here we go. Turn the legs out. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Chest stays up. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. My quads are engaged. My legs are so straight. Squeeze the inner thighs. Pull the navel down. Chest up higher. 15 seconds and we're done with these abs. Avoid letting the low back arch. You can bring the legs higher if you need to. We have six seconds. We rest in four, three, two, one. Hug behind the thighs. Let it rest. You can take the arms to a T. Rock the legs side to side. We're going to go through one more set of that X rep squat. So one half range to one full range. We have 15 seconds till we get there. This is going to be our last minute of work and then we stretch. So feet a little wider than hips. Eight seconds left, get ready. Whew, we start in four, three, two, one. Here we go, lower down. We come up halfway, lower down, come up all the way, squeeze the glutes and come down. Little lift, full range. Keep the abs in, weight is mostly in the heels of your feet. Little hip tuck forward as you rise, squeezing the sit bones. Halfway up, take it down. All the way up, take it down. Notice how when I stand, I'm looking up to eye level, but when I squat, I'm looking down, about 45 degree angle, so that I have the same distance from my chin to chest the entire time. Keep going, that's halfway. We have 30 seconds to go. Last 30 seconds of work, and we'll take a stretch. 15 seconds, go slow, no need to rush these. We did a lot of leg work today. Eight seconds left. Go for two more. We have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Very good job, you guys. We're gonna go through a very quick stretch. Let's go ahead and take it down to the mat. We're gonna lie down onto your back. Take one leg over the other. And we're gonna go into a figure four stretch. So the arms cross behind the thigh. Pull the leg in towards you. You can rock side to side. And then switch, cross the opposite ankle over thigh. Grab behind the leg, you can rock side to side. And then take that leg straight to the ceiling. Grab behind the ankle for a hamstring stretch. You can roll the ankle, go both ways. You can point and flex the toes. And then let's bend that leg. Take the left hand to the outside of that right thigh. Right arm to T, twist across the body, rotate the spine, and you can pull this knee up, down, move this leg around and find where you feel the biggest stretch in your QL, your low back. And then let's switch hamstring stretch on the left. Wrap your hands behind the ankle. Roll the ankle a few times each way. Feel the stretch in the shins, the ankle, the foot. Point and flex a few times, feel the calves and the shins work against each other. 
and then bend the leg, opposite hand to the outside of the thigh, other arm goes to a T, and then you're gonna pull the leg across the body. I like to straighten the leg, bend it, you can move it up and down, do whatever feels good to find that stretch. Left side, low back. And then come all the way back up to center, rock yourself up to the seat, and you guys are all set. Really nice work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm doing this every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Um, so if you guys have any requests, questions, anything at all, just let me know. You can send me an email. You can hit me up on Instagram. If you do want to make a donation, it would be really appreciated. My Venmo is SamBell22. Um, even just a referral. If you're unable to donate, it would be awesome if you could just refer a friend, maybe your mom, sister, someone who you think would enjoy this. Um, that way we can build our crew and keep this going. So thank you very much, guys, for joining me. Um, I'll see you on Thursday. If you haven't already, just email me or uh, DM me your email, and I'll add you to the list. Cool? Thanks, guys.